So if you are a care provider, a care home, home care organization, what is the difference between Google pay-per-click ads and Facebook ads, uh, specifically if you want to get more leads and inquiries? So what's the difference between Facebook ads and Google pay-per-click ads? Well, there are four main differences. The first is the intent uh, that you are reaching, uh, let's say, a prospective family member using Google pay-per-click versus Facebook ads. So let's think about um, Google pay-per-click or it could be Bing pay-per-click for example what you are endeavouring to do there is to uh, capture uh, the interest uh, whether that be driving people to your website families to your website or, or encouraging them to make a call or to make some action on your website when they are they have a high intent i.e. when they are proactively looking for a care home or a home care domicile care organization so what you are uh, tapping into is literally those people who are searching online whether on their mobile or on their desktop searching for a care home care service or home care home care service so the key word here is intent and uh, let's remember according to research uh, by a lot 2022 94 yes you heard me say that correctly 94 percent of families will search online during their process of thinking about choosing a care home. And that's why it's really, really vital if you want to <laughs> capture families who are looking and thinking about a care home, care service, domiciliary care organisation, that you are found online. And Google Pay Per Click uh, intent is key. Now, for Facebook, the difference is that you are wanting to make Facebook but work for you by inter interrupting the process or the day of a of a family member or a, an individual who is uh, on Facebook looking at their phone, going through their phone or on their uh, desktop. Do you know why people are on Facebook? They're there for amusement, to check up on their friends and a whole bunch of other reasons. So they not, are not actively looking for a care home or domiciliary care, etc. when they are on Facebook. But what you can do is uh, look at I'll come on to this in a little bit later, but uh, exploit Facebook's algorithms to help you get your care home seen, uh, your ad seen by families, by audiences within your catchment area. And you are interrupting their day, but you are capturing their attention. And that's why um, Facebook ads have a value because they enable you to reach families or reach audiences in your catchment area. Areas, even though they may not be proactively looking for a care home or care service, etc., in your area. So that's the one essential first um, difference between Google Pay Per Click and Facebook ads for care providers. The, 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 the second is that, this is of course related to this first point, is that a Google Pay Per Click inquiry or inquiry that comes from Google Pay Per Click is going to be more exactly that, an inquiry. So they are searching for a care home, they click on your ad that goes through to your website and then they might do an action, they might make a call, they might, might download a brochure, they might go on live chat, or they might do other some other call to action and that's going to be, the result of that will be them making an inquiry excuse me, based on what they have been searching for on uh, Google or Bing, for example. So it is more likely to be an inquiry. And uh, this kind of result is, is, hello, I'm Joe. I'm interested in, in mo learning more about your care home. So they might call you. Uh, they might put an inquiry, by, as I say, by a live chat or an email. It's going to be very, very clearly an inquiry. So it's got a higher intent. With Facebook, you're going to be getting leads more likely 
think five times out of ten it's going to be a lead so that is someone who because you've used your ad to interrupt their day maybe it's an ad that's saying oh are you interested in the possibility of a care home things about a care home or a care service for your mum or dad or loved one and then you will be capturing their details name email and phone number and they will give you their contact details and then it's actually more up to you as someone who's running the ads to then follow up that lead and i'll come to this in, in, in a bit more detail in a moment but essentially that's the difference with google paper click inquiry will more likely be that an inquiry whereas a facebook lead will be more likely be that a lead so it may be a little less warm and it may lead need um, some nurturing but the benefits are on facebook ads is that you can use facebook ads often for your care provider to get in front of prospective family members quicker than other care providers because what i always say is someone who's looking for a care home will already already have made that inquiry on facebook you are able to perhaps get your home or domiciliary care service home care service in front of families using facebook when they've not already made an inquiry to a care provider so that's a way to put your care provider front of the queue and that's the real real benefit of that particular strategy so the uh, third difference is and this of course um, follows on from the second point is that facebook leads do need a lot more work so the numbers are that for let's say you get uh, 10 facebook leads now you have to then follow those leads up much much more robustly and intensely than you do a, a google paper click inquiry because let's remember the inquiry has maybe a higher intent now a facebook lead as i said if let's say you have 10 leads uh, once you follow them up by name email phone number because you've got those details already only between three and five that's 30 to 50 percent of those leads will actually be uh, authentic and genuine that means up to 50 percent of them may you know, may uh, may be a bad lead it may be tough it may not be quite right it may be someone making a mistake there's a whole number of reasons or uh, uh, when you're using facebook uh, ads to get leads for your care provider there's so many reasons why up to 50 percent of them can not be uh, can effectively be a duff and it but it's like that 30 to 50 percent uh, that you really want to uh, reach and to be clear here there's a lot of work i as i say that means high intensity email and phone follow-up uh this is uh, quite labor intensive and it does require a system but as i said the rewards and benefits are that you'll be able to reach family members members prospective family members before other care providers do so that's the rewards that you can get but i do repeat it is a whole lot more work and you have to have a strategy and a process for doing that follow-up on facebook leads uh, versus the query that comes in via google paper click for example and the fourth and uh, final difference a uh, key difference between google pay-per-click and facebook ads for care providers is the ads themselves uh, google pay-per-click ads are very much geared well you know what they look like you've seen them on google when you do a search on google you'll see those ads at the very top uh, they are usually nine times out of ten are words and so it's all really really important in just a few words that you capture the attention that your words are bang on for those searching for a care or nursing home or domiciliary care service within your catchment area it's really really vital that you think hard about those words now google paperclip does have a, a kind of machine learning ai that's called a, a machine learning for the moment system where they they will improve those ads for you so there's a, a as i say a machine learning process coming in on there and that actually machine learning process matches up the words for the ads according to the landing page that is it is on that is on your website but uh, there's human intelligence that comes to play importantly as well so it's a mixture between machine learning and human intelligence but uh, as i said 
said, it's those keywords, there's ad extension, there's, there's various micro or sub headlines, etc., that you can use on those Google ads. But um, it's very much about words. Now, Facebook, uh, you actually have more words that you can use. Uh, and you would have seen the Facebook ads uh, coming up on your phone. Uh, it's often a photo, of can be a video, an image, a use of emoticons. You can be much more colourful in how you run ads via Facebook. And another key difference is on Google Pay Per Click, those ads will I don't know, to go directly to your website or to go to a phone number. Uh, but on Facebook, our recommended approach is that you have the, the, those ads go to what's called a Facebook leads form, where you can ask qualifying questions to a prospective family member, such as, are you looking for a care home for yourself or for a loved one? Who is it? So you're getting, and when do you need care? Is it now? Or are you thinking about it for the future? Is it respite care you're interested in or, or residential care? So these kind of qualifying questions, which you can ask on uh, Facebook, uh, more, more simply, you don't need to necessarily have those in a specific landing page of which you would have to build on your website or Google Pay Per Click. So those are the four differences. Now, if this, you got some value or from this video, make sure you subscribe wherever you can and you're going to get similar videos like it.